finally green here again. So this is where I am. And look at this. Now we are going to go into, it has all of the signs, do not trespass. But you have to see this. So I'll walk in here, it's probably muddy. And you feel the raw energy of it, but look at that. You can almost feel the troll in the rock reciting dormant, quiet, having got its self position, creating all of these little fairy tale. What do you call it? Look at this big slate here. It's part of building slate. This is how they do it. They, they cut out these big slates, use them as tiles. So this is, this is what that is. And there is a structure here. Look at this. Isn't it amazing? I feel the heaviness of it. It's like when you go into with so many old rocks and here where the sun is not prevailing, it's here, but it's not. There is some kind of building structure up there. Some kind of house or fortress. I feel the history. I also feel sadness. I feel pain. Someone died here alone. That's what I'm feeling right now. So let's go further in. I get enormously sad. So, and my whole heart just gets sad. Pain. Suffering. I'm pretty sure there are bones here somewhere which they haven't found. I actually don't think it's a woman that died here. I think it's a man, to be honest. Feels like he was exiled. And he came here and he built what he could. And so look at this, right? I'll just stay here a little while so what's left in the bones can rise up because it needs to be released, right? That's one of the tasks I have as a release or whatever. Stuck. Let us go. He crawled out here. I kind of get he was wounded. So he crawled out here. Yeah. I get so sad now. You can hear it. You can almost hear my heart. He was so sad and in pain and felt unjustified. The injustice is probably what made it most difficult for him throughout his life. Yeah, let's continue walking. I think there was a river here once. Yeah, it's not there anymore though. Look at this people. Oh, let me see if I can get up here. Oops, no need to fall on camera, right? It's wet, slippery, and completely impossible. Now I get dirty. That's good, out of nature. Look at this. So amazing. Yeah, sorry from a slippery slope there. Didn't get hurt though. Just got dirty. He's up there somewhere. Yeah, let me dismantle his bones. I'll release what's left of him. He's got serine genetics. So that's kind of reptile genetics or serum genetics. Look at this. Okay, people, this is the best you get coming with me here. So let me find. 
find a footing. Sorry for this camera. When I'm finding my footing, there's another rock right there, majestically rising up. And down there was a little creek where he got his water, full of parasites though. Okay, now he is becoming more manifest. I got the bones released and without the imprint, I can pull him out the astral plane. And just open the gate. And there he goes. Sometimes we get pulled to places where adventures are, not just because nature's rough and there, but because they actually work for us to do, at least those of us who are in tune with the deeper levels of the ancient realms and have obligations to do so. Thank you.